April 7th, NBA Game Picks and Spread Predictions. Let's do this. NBA season closing out. Just a few more games left for some people's. Some people's got more. We have Nuggets at the Clippers. Nuggets favored by three in this one on NBA TV at 3, 30 p.m. Eastern, 12, 30 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to pick the Nuggets to win this one and cover the three-point spread. Bucks next. Bucks favored by nine and a half. I think they win and cover. Nets Bulls. Nets favored by five and a half. I think the Bulls pull off the upset. Um, actually, let me think about that. No. No. I'm mean, gonna think of the Nets. I think the Nets will win. I take it back. Yeah, the Nets will, should win and cover. D'Angelo Russell has been playing well since coming back. The Nets don't have the same motivation to tank as the other teams where they don't own their first round pick. Plus, oh, Nets win here would tie them with the Bulls, which would make the process and the draft a lot more interesting. Thunder Rockets at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on ABC, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time, or 7.30 p.m. Central if you are a Rocket fan. Houston's favored by 5.5. 19 games up on the Thunder. Question is, will they put 100% effort into the game? If not, Thunder can sneak away with a win. But, I think they will. I think the Rockets come out with a W. Go into the postseason strong. With only a few games remaining. Consistency is going to be extremely important. And then you have the Pelicans at the Warriors. Warriors fared by 6.5 here. Having a tough go as of late. But, I think the Warriors bounce back. I think they win cover as well. I like the Pelicans. I like Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday. And Rajon Rondo. But, I think KD... Like he said, he's going to go crazy. Hopefully not get ejected. And you have the Trailblazers at the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs favored by five in this one. According to BPI, the Spurs also have a 66% chance to win. I'm going to take the Blazers in the upset here. Even though they have a better record, it, the Spurs have played tremendously better at home. And that's interesting for sure. Also, as a note, with Philadelphia beating Cleveland yesterday, puts them up half a game for the third seed. Indiana's only a couple games back, so if Cleveland slips, Cleveland could lose home court, which would be interesting. We also got Milwaukee, Miami, and Washington all within a game of each other for 6th, 7th, and 8th, which should be fun to watch in the next few days. Also, we have New Orleans, San Antonio, Oklahoma, all tied for 5th, 6th, and 7th with... 19 games back of Houston, and Minnesota just a half game back of them in 8th, with Denver just a half game back of Minnesota. So, realistically, even Utah, who's in 4th, could fall out of the playoff chase. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.